rugby legend Mac Messina. Well, thank you very much, uh, Andres. As uh, well, amazing stuff. Points to 21 against the Leopards on their first game, and then of course uh, Border Bulldogs just losing against the, the EP. Right, 24 points at 214. So, lots to play for. Junior Mkolo, who is going to start this game for us. And he sends it long into the Burland hold. Khaliomir puts it on that trusty right foot and he finds a phenomenal touch first up. The breeze at his back, but that is just sensational. Well, from uh, Border Bulldogs. Again, Gulu kicks it high. Contested well by the border side. And it falls in the hands of Skipper, who sends it to the middle, into the hands of Kolomi. Sensational young player, this into a bit of space on the right-hand side. He gets his hands free. France by now. Will he finish it off? And he will certainly do that. We've just mentioned his name. Llewellyn France one opens the scoreboard for the San Lamboulin side. To the huge blind side on the far side of the park. Bye. It's all about that decision making and of course that accuracy that is needed at this stage for Border. And Benson wants to take it quick as all scrummers want to do. Hey, they can't keep you can't keep a scrum off quiet. And if you can, it's probably not a scrum half. Encouraging signs is for Border. Scrum receiving a lot of debates over the last couple of weeks. It's a platform from which South African teams traditionally get a lot of reward from. 20 seconds. Ryan Denson now with his first kick of the game. He just chips it over and border on the score sheet. Seven points plays three and we're 13 minutes into the second game on the third day of the Stadio. Craven gives him the luxury of having the big man, Andrew Schmidt, in the back line. Yet they set up the driving wall now. It's Ruan Putkita. They got reward in the first driving wall. Will they do so again? Again, penalty advantage now for Border. And a free ball to play with here. Denson, he'd want to get it now. Just encouraging the big pack of forwards to keep going forward. Finally, it comes out now for Denson. Waiting for it is Jetstone. With the unlimited driver. He's straight through the middle of Jetstone. Found a bit of space. And he has got to put it down under the upright. And this border team has answered a call. Set. Beatrice could see from Robertson, a big individual, a lot of weight on his side. Good scrum for the border side. Short ball for Jetstone once again. Slight spill of the ball, unfortunately. An advantage now for Borland. And they've got an opportunity here to grow into broken play. Khalomi puts on the right foot. Advantage now over and it drops into the hands of Kola. And he has empty space. A referee has called advantage over. And that will be an opportunistic, opportunistic try. For the men from the Essen Cape. Chosen goes, goes on himself, gets it to the left. Fanavesa is in with ball in hand and cool heads now required from this Berlin side. Franceman, Orens awaits and gets another advantage and a free ball for Berlin Khulomi. Chosen goes, finds out of space, will it beat another one and he surely does. Luan Khlobia just cuts open the defence and scores a well-deserved try. Inside pass into the hands of Benedict George. Again, this is advantage for this Bullan team. Plykis again, Keanu Plykis picked up in the tackle. Franceman just goes straight to the massive men in the form of Tariq Peters and Andrew De Smet. And that is a fourth penalty in a row that goes the way of this Berlin side. And you wonder why they wouldn't just kick it into a touch and make use of that one-man advantage. Yeah, there could be an opportunity to take the three points for the Berlin team. A little bit of a, a check there. Khliomi with his big number eight in front of his days. And he taps and goal. Khliomi with a quick tap into the hands of Benedict George. And a try has been scored 
and a sneaky little move from the fly half. He changes all expectations. He gets Bernadette George into a bit of space and over for a five pointer in the corner. And now Julioami gets it. And they've got that move into the middle. Comes Howard Walks. Julioami will back himself if he has to. Nothing on and goes to Fanavesta, and who's a tough man to bring down. And he's broken in the first and second tackle. Looks after the fourth. And does exceptionally well, does MJ Fanavesta is in. Taking it upon himself to get that scrap this game. Giddy waits for it, finds his captain. And it's in moments like these that you look to your big players to do something special. Advantage for a knock, advantage over. Knock on me by Mancini, playing last year now, Volant. With Duplessis into space, will he finish it off? Philip Duplessis. All the way, and he closes off certainly this time. Boyland can start celebrating a well deserved victory against Bo <laughs> Delek couldn't find his jumper, and now it is Lucas. He keeps on going. They want to keep the ball going. Vanavesta is a grip. The try scorer. Again, they go to the right, Julio and the referee will now stop us and bring this game to an end. Borland with a well-deserved victory of 34 points to 20. A game that they'll come away from and think that they've let a lot of points out there.